An Athens family physician has received the 2012 Distinguished Service Award from the American College Osteopathic Family Physicians, an award presented annually to a physician that best demonstrates leadership. As a faculty member at Ohio University, Jay Shubrook has conducted extensive research into diabetes. And Mr. Shubrook joins us now for a uh, in our studio and Good congratulations evening. on the award. Thank you very much. Now the award acknowledges your work with diabetes. You want to talk a little bit about your involvement with that? So you know diabetes is a common disease that affects all medical practices and, and for many people in family medicine it's a large part of their practice and because it's such an important issue it's something that I've devoted most of my research and clinical time to, to, to at this point I actually work in a diabetes center and all my work, clinical work, is diabetes. Some other work that uh, we noted a press release, uh, Program Active. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, yeah, so our latest study is Program Active, which is a study looking at ways that we can improve the life um, and the disease control for people with type 2 diabetes and depression. Diabetes is very common, and depression makes it very hard to manage type 2 diabetes. So in this study, we're actually looking at whether the combination of exercise, counseling, or those individually or routine care are best for people with both conditions. In a previous study we found that the combination is excellent but we don't want part of that is the best part. So now we're repeating that study in this region and in Marietta and Parkersburg. Now a study like this definitely needs some funding and we know the National Health Institute doesn't really hand out money so this program must have some new promise, something new and different. What is that? Well, you know, the, the important thing about this study is this translational. It's, you know, our goal is that if we can find that this works, it'll work in anybody's practice. This is not in a, in a you know, a white tower in a university. We're, we're participating in this in lo local centers, in exercise centers, and in doctor's offices. So if we can improve the care of people with diabetes and depression, it's going to be implemented across the country. And I think that's the promise that NIH sees. Now you just mentioned doctor offices and other places to do this or the study, so it's obviously not just Ohio University. Who else, who else is involved in this? So our lead on the project is Mary DeGroote. She's a formal faculty member at Ohio University and she's at Indiana University now. Um, our leads at Ohio University are myself and Frank Schwartz and Bernie Heckman, who's our local PI, who's a, a um, psychologist. And then we're also partnering with West Virginia University. So it's really those three inner uni universities and the surrounding regions that are involved in this study. Now, how much funding has this entire study gotten so far? So this phase of the project received $3.2 million, and only part of that goes to the high university area, but it goes, it's distributed between the three universities. Now, have you actually started this study, or is it still gearing up? It is launching this week, so our first people will actually be Friday, who will be screened for the study, and we're actively recruiting, and we need over 200 people to be in the study. So anybody with diabetes or depression that feels like they could be doing better, we'd be happy to talk to them about options. Well, Mr. Shubrook, thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you very much.